read about Cerro Rico as one of the richest silver mountains in the world, producing silver since the 1500s and still in production. How close is this from silver sand? Cerro Rico is a silver tin system, um, as is silver sand. Uh, and a number of Bo Bolivia's other big mines. I mean, you mentioned C Cerro Rico is the second largest silver system that's ever been found anywhere on the planet, second only to the Fresnillo district in Mexico. The company has also seen promising assays from its flagship silver sand project. Can you tell us more about the highlights from those results? And is the company planning to take this project into production? So far, it's passed all the gates that it's supposed to pass, and it's it's taking the right next step down the road. Um, most of the results that you've seen come out on, on Silver Sand have been uh, additional confirmation of the width and grade, which is very substantial um, for the, the Silver Sand project. The part that gets me excited is the exploration upside, because you can think of silver sand as this cloud of dispersed silver values, and they're they're good. They're you know, they're four to maybe eight ounce silver grade, so that's you know that's hundred dollar rock roughly uh, at the low end, and it goes up from there. Uh, and the and the metallurgical recoveries are very good. But what gets me excited is I want to know where it came from. Because if you look 35 kilometers away to Cerro Rico, you're looking at a system that has this kind of dispersed mineralization at the top, and then it just gets better and better as you go deep until it ultimately, at, at, at more than a mile depth, it starts to get, get tin rich. And that's not a bad thing in today's tin world. But uh, to me, everything I see at Silver Sand says there's a lot more to that system than the resource area that they're focusing on.